Hi, so this week we're just doing a free week, so I was just going to talk about um, a couple of the writing stuff that's going on with me right now. Um, first one, I guess, is Snowflakes. Um, Snowflakes is this novel that I'm writing that uh, centers around um, two queer girls who fall in love in 1958. Um, and really good news, I don't know if I told you guys this, but um, a chapter of it is being published as a short story in a queer youth anthology. Um, the title of, the, of it is Fighting for Lies. Well, the title of the short story, not the anthology. Um, and the anthology will be published around fall this year. Um, I think, like, pre-order is, like, ten bucks, but who am I kidding? Um, I'm actually really excited, and I think I'm done with all of the actual work I have to do. Um, about, yeah, about a couple weeks ago, uh, I got my editing suggestions from Katie Lynch, my editor, um, and then I turned my edits in fairly quickly, but that's because it's a short story and not like a novel. Um, so people say that uh, one good way of getting a novel published is to publish a section of it as a short story, um, and it's really good that I'm going to have a couple of publishing credits even if no one like really notices the book, um, but that's why it's like a mad race to the finish line to get Snowflake finished up. Um, I only have about 20,000 words left, and I'm pretty sure I can finish that in May. Um, it's gonna take a lot of discipline. A uh, couple of things that are going on right now, because I'm working so hard on Snowflake, I'm putting Extinct and Hunter um, on hold for the month. And hopefully when Snowflake is finished, I can focus on one of them, or both of them, or whatever. I'm still not sure. Um, hmm. I think I'll switch off the weeds. I really need to figure out how to get both of those projects finished, because I've been working on them forever, and I kind of need to just get it out of the way. Um, and then another thing is I've been working on world building this post-apocalyptic thing. Not like the way people picture like post-apocalyptic, they're just like, oh god, the apocalypse happened, how do we survive? But this is like a couple centuries after that. Um, so everything's sort of figured out already, but I want to illustrate, get off my computer, cat. I want to, um, illustrate the differences and how society would keep on evolving. Um, because of this, I haven't actually figured out what kind of apocalypse it is. I don't think it's environmental because if it were like an environmental apocalypse, things would be much more different than I've set them up to be. Um, Uh, I guess that's everything I have to talk about this week, so um, next week we'll have a cohesive subject for you guys.